I was actually raised in a very conservative Christian family that didn't really look too highly on tattoos at all. And when I started this venture, I didn't have any tattoos. There was a point, even just the year before I decided to do this, that I thought tattoos were ridiculous. I had these oil paintings in my house and stacks of sketchbooks and, you know, like, I need to do something. I don't want to just go to my J-O-B job. So that's when uh, tattooing all of a sudden kind of uh, became a lot more appealing. I didn't know what I was going to do. I just, I just knew I wasn't going back to the fire department. I always liked fighting fires. I was a paramedic. That was tough for me. But it was telling the family that I couldn't do anything more, you know. And then seeing their reaction to what I said, it was, it was too much for me. I started getting tattooed when I was 27, and I, I was like, well, I'm going to teach myself how to draw. There was just something in me that was like, I know I can do this. So I went into his shop, and I remember he was standing in the alley smoking, and then I went in, and I was like, I'm looking for like an apprenticeship. I don't know how to go about it. Like, here's some of the tattoos I've done. And I remember I had a little folder of my drawings, too. And I showed him, and he looked, and the drawings weren't bad. The tattoos were. And he, I remember he looked at my phone. He told me to stop, to draw, come back in like nine or ten months. And I just, I think it's so ironic that now we work together and now we're <laughs> sitting here together. Like it's pretty just, much, pretty much become best friends. Yeah, it's, it's strange how the world works. <laughs> you know, as an artist, it's really hard to find that that spot, you know, the starving artist, that saying really plays true in a lot of aspects of art. And this is, this was the one way that I found that I could do art and make a living and, you know, and do it every day. There were a lot of times I wanted to quit. Like I remember driving three or four in the morning, just it's like, this is so hard. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. I don't know how people do this. I don't know how people get good at this. And it's like, I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. But there's like that little 1% in you that like you already know you're not going to quit. And so I just kept going. Art isn't easy and making it in this world, doing art is uh, a lot more difficult than people think because you're, you're naked. You're putting yourself out there just totally naked. And people either accept it or they don't. And uh, that takes a lot of strength and a lot of courage.